Hi there, I am Karin, and today I'm going to take you through the best of what the Norwegian kitchen has to offer. So you might be sitting there thinking, Norwegian food, is that any good? Well, let's see. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> so this is this is the dried cod. This is the naturally dried cod from Lofoten that they hang up for months and they get this awful smell. Okay, this is very exciting. I'm a bit nervous about this actually. It's very different from fresh fish, and the consistency is much firmer than the fresh fish. I always thought that you would get that really fishy, fishy taste with it, but it's not. It's really delicate. They have this whole ritual where they hang up these fish, and it doesn't decompose, and it doesn't freeze because of the mild winters in Lofoten. People should definitely try this. They should go up there, see the drying racks and taste the turfisk. And I'm very excited about the modern take on this dish. This is really exciting. I see some flowers here as well. I think I'll just take it all at once. Mm. That's really, really, really good. I prefer this over the traditional, actually. Okay, den var ju helt utrolig god. Men varför är det så att norska kocker är liksom de som vinner mest? Det är den konkurrensen som heter Elerta Dista. Bokusto. Bokusto. Ja, vi tror ju det för det vi är lite som är inte så bundna till traditionen vår då. Nej, inte sant? Vi har några traditioner, men vi är liksom väldigt öppna för tekniker och smaker från hela världen. Ja. Man tänker ju också att liksom franskmän ska vara bäst. Ja, det är näst bäst nu då. Det är näst bäst, ja. Ja, ja. Så det är ju också. Ja, ja, men tre gånger hurra. Hipp, hipp, hipp. Hurra. Här har du då en lättbakt lax med en saus som vi kallar för rökt sandfjordsmör. Tack, tusen tack. Okej. Okay. Oh my god, I mean the fish is just perfectly prepared. Salmon. Okay, I think this might be like the best salmon I've ever had. And I've had a lot of good salmon in my life. I love my job. <laughs> I mean the salmon will go way back. Ever since I was a little girl, my father has taken me on these fishing trips where we go into various rivers in, um, in Norway. We wake up at three o'clock in the morning. We like sneak up on the salmon uh, in the river and we stand there for hours and hours and hours fishing. My father almost cries when he gets the salmon. So I have very fond mem memories with that. I got this as well. No alcohol in this one. Oh, I know what this is. This is uh, Hardanger apples. Is it right? Okay. Really, the Hardanger apples are the best apples, I think, because they're not too sweet and they're not too sour. Mm, thank you. I am wearing uh, a bunad from uh, Valdres, beautiful place in Norway. This is the modern take, I would say, because you normally don't have a bird on the head, if you know what I mean. Do you think it's possible that I can keep a bunad? No. This is sour cream porridge. Okay, so the best thing is that if you go cross-country skiing for many hours, you arrive to a cabin in the middle of the mountains and they serve you this. 
And this is femalor, so this is the dried leg of lamb. I love this as well. This is like the most heavy thing you can eat. <laughs> but it's very good because the sour cream is sour, of course. And then with the sugar and the cinnamon, and of course the butter, and the salty uh, fenalor. I actually prefer the fenalor over the serrano ham. And you can never tell my Spanish best friend because she thinks that I love serrano the most, but I actually, I like this even, even more. What kind of bunal is it? So this is a bringeduk uh, drakt. But we actually took away the duk because it was a bit too much. So we're doing like a modern twist. Bringeduk? Yeah. Mm. Why is it called bringeduk? Det er en duk til bringa. Dette er bringa di. Bringa. Det er duk du har. So the breasts are the bringa. That's I guess a... it's to control the cleavage. To control the cleavage, if you have one. Så dette her er eh, fin biff. This is um, shredded reindeer meat. Specialty from the north. This is very exciting. I'm just going to do this. Always want to do that. This is really, really, really good. The amazing thing about the reindeers is that it's so tender. The meat is like... The reindeers is a key part of the Sami culture and cuisine. I have seen these herds of reindeers running over the mountains. And the same day you had the northern lights. Now you're exaggerating, right? No, it's true. Super spectacular sight to be there. Okay, so this is the fish soup. Oh, this is delicious. This is very typical Norwegian. This is extremely good. This is cream based, but you can really taste the fish. I feel like you can taste the fjords in this. The salty waters in the fjords. Mmm. The next dish is the modern take on the fish soup. Look at this. This is art. So you see that this is like a more exclusive type of fish soup. You have the caviar here. You have some like bready bread stuff, and then you have the shellfish, my absolute favorite. <laughs> I think this is king crab. Can that be? Sjökreps. It's sjökreps. So that's, you know, the with the, with the tail. My grandmother would be very proud of this modern take on the fish soup. I'm going to be so full. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm just gonna dig in. Look at this, this is like a piece of art. Lamb skunk, okay. I love my job. Uh, my brother-in-law actually has a farm up in Rendal, in the mountains. And I've tasted the lamb from there and it's just like, I don't know what it is. I think it's the mountain air maybe, the fresh air, the green grass, they just run around. You know, super happy for years. The lambs in Norway are happy. <laughs> I think they're really happy. I think that's why they taste so well. I'm really excited about the desserts. I'm really, really full, but you know, you always have like a little dessert tummy. Yes! 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 This is kronkaker. This is kronkaker. And multicrem. And multicrem. This is my own no, no more traditionsrik norsk kan du knappt få. Det finner du ikke. Nei. Nei. Det kan godt være at jeg tar med noen hjem. Gjør det. Ja. Gjør det. Kom med. Vel, velbekomme. Takk. Ok, you guys. So this is my favorite dessert in the whole world. So it's whipped cream with cloudberries in it. Can I dig in? So every year... Uh, at Christmas, me and my mother, we make the krumkakker, these waffle-like cookies. <sighs> Are you with us? I am with you. I'm with you. Okay, so 
my auntie Agnes actually picks cloudberries, so she has these secret spots. And I could never tell you where, because it's like a very well-kept family secret. She would kill me if I told you. Liten dessert. Her har du en kesamkrem med multe sorbet. Tusen takk. Lykke til. <laughs> Cloudberries. Just listen to the name. Cloudberries. I love the color. They're so orange. So I'm just gonna dig in because I don't want to wait. And it has even the kromkake. Oh my god. I'm so full. <laughs> But I'm so happy. <laughs> this is so good and it's so fresh. And then with the crunch, I'm just going to eat the crunch. It's so good. It's so good, you just want to laugh. It's so good, you know? I'm just gonna take the very last of it. Thank you. That was really good. Thank you so much. So this is a waffle with the famous, typical Norwegian brown cheese. The locals have said for centuries that the brown cheese is made with a little help from some cute goats and cows. Come, Shira, come. Mm. I'm just going to taste a bit more of the brown cheese because it has a very specific taste, a caramel topping, more sweet in a way. Mm. I mean, this combination is perfect with the waffles and the coffee. Um, I feel like I've tasted a lot of Norwegian food traditions that I just take for granted in a way. Because this is all around me all the time, if you know what I mean. Thank you so much for watching, og takk for maten. Ok, så er vi ferdig. Jeg tar med den, ja.